Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com. And today I want to talk about how we can use form submission events from within inside SmartSuite forms and use that to create multiple records inside of SmartSuite and even link them together. Now, this is something I want to show you a little view into my world. This is one of those drink your own champagne or eat your own dog food moments. Now, I'm a SmartSuite consultant and I work with folks who want to implement SmartSuite, but I'm also using SmartSuite to power my own backend operations. And this is the setup that I'm actually using on my own website. So to get us started, we're taking a look at my form submission app, and we're looking at the actual form that I have running on my website. This is, of course, inside of SmartSuite. And I keep it really simple. I just have a person's name, their organization, because I'm working with businesses. I've got their email address and how can we help. So I keep it really simple, short, and to the point. Now, when we create those records, I don't have it create the contact record right off the bat because I don't want it to be just a text field on that record of organization. I want to actually create that account record because as I work with my clients through the process, it might be that one person reaches out, but then I work with their manager as well or a COO. And when I work with them, I want to be able to have multiple contacts for that. So I don't actually treat this as the contact record. I treat this as a form submission. And my goal is that from that form submission, I want to create a brand new contact record, a brand new account record, and I want to be able to link them together. And so in order to make this happen, I'm using SmartSuite's automations on the back end to pull the information and to be able to create those records that I want. Let's go ahead and take a look at my automations. And I've got this create contact and account from form submission record. So the first thing that I need to do is I've got my trigger and I'm running this on a form being submitted, a form submission event. And I've got my app that it's actually running on, which is form submissions. And I'm just running this on the main contact form. In this case, I don't have any kind of conditional logic. I'm saying every time that someone submits that, let's go ahead and create these records. And the way this works is that folks like you who are watching my YouTube videos on the YouTube channel, you see this kind of stuff and you say, oh, wow, I might wanna work with Dan. So they're going to the website, they're filling out the contact information form, and then from there, I'm getting notifications and things like that, which I'll cover in another video. Now, from here, once that form is submitted, we're going to go ahead and create those records. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create that contact record. If I click on this action, I've chosen my solution of my Automation Helper CRM. And this is where I've chosen now the Contacts app. So before we ran this on the form submission, now I'm going to actually create a contact. And here's where I've just selected my fields to pull in. So I've got a full name field. And so I'm saying the full name field on the contact, set this equal to, and this is where I can pull those fields from the trigger. And remember, I only have a handful of fields, so it's really nothing too fancy here. This is where I'm putting in the full name. So that name is coming from the form submission. I'm getting the email and mapping that. And then I also want to attach the contact record to the form submission itself. This makes it easy if I'm looking back on the contact and I say, oh yeah, what did they contact me about in the first place? I can connect that. And we've talked about this in other videos in the past, but just as a reminder, the easiest way to do this is for that form submission. This is the linked field that I have. All I need to do is be able to put in the title that's coming from that trigger, and that's going to create the link that I want. Now, here's the next part, which is kind of interesting, is creating another record. Because this took me a minute to figure out exactly how I wanted to be able to do this, because it doesn't seem like we're quite to the point with automations inside a smart suite where we have the full power of linking multiple actions that we have. It's kind of more dependent on the trigger that we have. So this is something that we'll probably expect to see some improvements in the future. But for right now, to keep it simple, my account name uh, is really simple. Like on the account record, all I have is the account name. And then my goal is to link it. So in this case, I've chosen the CRM. I've chosen the accounts app this time. I've got my account name and I'm mapping that to the organization question that I asked from the form submission. And then here's honestly the only kind of unique part to this to actually link this to uh, link the account to the contact record. And what I'm doing here is if you remember inside a smart suite, you're not required to link something to the record ID that we can actually use the text of that record. So my contact record, the ID for it is just first name, last name. Now, in the future, will I have to change this when I have so many contacts where I might be working with two Dan Johnsons? Yeah, that's a possibility. But for now, I'm keeping this pretty simple. And because of this, when we created that contact record, that full name 
is the actual primary field on this. And so we know that the full name is also what we can map into the contacts to actually link it. So this is kind of my workaround situation for now. What I'd like to see from SmartSuite in the future is that we can actually use fields uh, from either step. So right now you notice that how we have fields from trigger, that makes sense. We've got our form submission fields, but everything else is just system fields. What I'd like to see in the future is that on this second create the account step is that I could take fields from my create contact record step and be able to use those as well. So we could say something like plug in the record ID from the previously created step. And that would give me a little bit of peace of mind, but it's also going to open the door for some additional flexibility in the future. But the great part is, is even without that functionality, we're still able to link the two. So as long as you can get the text to match whatever that primary field is, you will actually be able to link the two. And it's pretty cool how that works. So let's go ahead and save our automation and test it out. So if I go to my actual website here, this is what you'd be seeing if you came to the automationhelpers.com slash contact us page. And let's go ahead and put in some test stuff here. Dan test. And I work for Testerson International. Dan at testerson.com. And we want to implement smart suite. We'll go ahead and submit that record. We'll get our little thank you message. And that's what the user sees. And then on the back end, we have our contact record that's created. And you'll notice that now it went through this process here. So we've got our email. It linked it to that form submission. So I could go ahead and open up that record. And I could see you know, what the user was asking about from the form submission step. And it's created my account. Testerson International, and it's linked that. And of course, at this point, there's not a lot of information there. So I'll need to go ahead and fill in some of that information, or maybe we'll do some data enrichment in the future. But we've got that ability to be able to link together all of those records with a single automation step, making it much easier on us so we don't have to do that manual work ourselves. I hope this has been helpful for you to see how we can use SmartSuite automations take form submission events to be able to create multiple records. Now your circumstance might be a little bit different. You might want to create an opportunity record, but the core ideas behind this are exactly the same. Now, if you have any questions about your own smart suite implementation, I encourage you to reach out on our website and fill out the form that we just showed you on here for a free 30 minute consultation.